Hi guys, welcome back to the Banner Saga and to <laughs> yeah, something weird happened when I was loading up the game again and probably my fault, I clicked on the wrong thing and then we were back on the road again and so I decided to go back and do the last fight again because I wanted to get to the supplies and um, so now we've got a wounded odd life. I can't remember exactly who got wounded last time but that's how it ended up this time. So let's go check out the supplies. Onef leads you to an inconspicuous building. This is them, he says, to the handful of guards inside who lower their weapons. In a concealed basement, you find an enormous store of food and sundries. Grab what you can, he mutters. Pulling the entire store of supplies out of a basement takes more time than you expected. Each moment you imagine Eccles men rounding the corner. Yells in the distance mark that fear becoming a reality. You get the others out and emerge from the building in time to meet them in battle. Oh, we got the enemy in the middle? Okay. I guess put the girls over in this corner. That's not really. Do we want to put them all the way into the, in the corner? Yeah, let's do that. And then you go over there. Now, okay. No, I think, I think we're ready. So, I am gonna wait. Let them come to us. Yeah. Oh, he reached actually. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even. So, hmm, I could shoot him. Let's shoot him. Yeah. Oh, the others can't reach. Cool. Now... Oh, he can't reach, actually. So... Uh, I don't want to have him out here and get attacked by three of these. So... These girls will have to come closer, so for now I'm gonna try and kill this guy. There we go. Now, yeah, let's see what can you do. Um, can they reach either? I don't think so, not right now. But, let's put one here, just in case. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. And she can, can't do a thing. So, let's rest up. Oh, he didn't reach. Okay, well, I could move this guy, but that means odd life is gonna be... She's already hurt, so... I don't really want to do that. I think he is gonna... Oh, he's got to run through. Yeah, it's probably a good thing, but not at this very moment. Oh, here she comes. Oh, that's fine. Wait. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I'm protecting a letter, I mean, of life. <laughs> so, let them come to us, I say. Mm -hmm. At least until I get 
rid of some a couple of those warriors would be nice. I can't hurt them really. I got Mark Prey, but that's just for close up and now he, he really has to move, damn it. If I move if I move up here he cannot reach unless he goes well he he will try and go this way right or maybe not but he can't reach on the reach on the first attempt anyway so let's move up i can't mark prey but I can damn give her yeah actually good night archer cool oh god he is um he's hurting <laughs> yeah let's see he can't do much uh maybe go straight for one of the archers since he's gonna go down no matter what he does Oh, that's gonna cost him too, but that's fine. Come on. Now. Flail. Yeah, well, it helped a bit. Um. Alright, who's the biggest problem here? These two, I think. Well, <clears throat> they're all a problem. So, if I put it there, we have, yeah, that's a good defense. That's not cool. That's not nice at all. Now, can you even do anything with these guys? I don't, I don't know how to get you to, uh... okay. Who are you going for? Ah, uh, okay. Well, he is not moving. No matter what. The next guy is this one. He can't reach. And then it's Evid. And then... Who's that? What? Where is he? can't freaking tell. Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> and so he's gonna... S yeah, he's gonna head straight for Odlef. So, yeah, we don't move. Um, he's got... yeah, only melee. Rest. Hey, he's really hurting either. That's not cool. Let's see. Who do we wanna... Well... Let's... Deal with this one. There we go. Now, let's go over and say hi. Is that even gonna... Oh well, his armor is gone. And there he goes down. And now... Ah, oh, she can't... I could move her though. Making... Forcing him to come after her this way. Yeah, and then she can shoot this... Maybe. Yeah, of course you can. Oh no, he didn't fall for that trick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're not doing so good, guys. So, let's see. Can you... Over there you can hit him. How about there? No.
not from there. So I have to go up close. Well, it's fine. We're gonna kill him, right? Yes, we are. Now, this one. Come on. Nice. Oh god, evil fell? Oh wow, so that's how it is when they all are meat shields for our girls. <laughs> okay, fine, I guess. Let's see. Ah, uh, you're gonna bleed. Oh, I think you can't avoid that. Can you? Well, it's not gonna be too much though. Yeah, we're good. We're f we're good. Wait a second. You need to move and then attack. Good night. I'm just doing that just to be sure. Finally. Yeah, that was painful. But we got some promotion out of that. Not the way I would have chosen though. <laughs> so yeah, let's hope we can rest up. I know, I know. God, don't nag. <laughs> yeah, rub it in, why don't you? Before long, the last of the stores is cleaned out. As you're turning to leave, a valuable looking necklace with a deep green stone catches your eye and you decide to keep it for yourself. Mm. Yes, I do. Olnerf leads you and his trusted fighters out of the city before more men show up. Bodies and dredge fill the fields in front of Frost Valley. You consider the best way to leave. Shepherd Sky Stone? Was that it? I didn't catch the name. So now we leave, we can't even rest, we need to leave this place and then rest. Right, let's do that. Outside the walls, things are a mess. Dredge are everywhere. Fortunately, they're going around the hill on which Frostveller sits, heading south, and show little interest in following as you cross into the waste. You're finally free of Frostveller, but find yourself facing new problems. You hope that whoever Iver knows at Wormtor is willing to help. Yeah, let's hope that. And can we get a rest? We can. Let's do that before anything happens. I know it's just outside, but yeah. Rest. Does he want to talk? Hey, Hugin. Just take it easy for a while. People are noticing. What? Oh, they've noticed, have they? We're on the edge of dying daily, and you want me to take it easy? Gods, I should be plowing twice as many fields, you understand? Don't get us thrown out of this caravan, Morgan. It's not just you who suffers. Right, so you get married? Have kids? Now I'm supposed to settle down too, yeah? What happened to... The two brothers clam up as you approach. That's right, I've got a kid to take care of. Cool your head, Morgan. Hugin departs, leaving Morgan looking awkward. Look, what brings you around? Um, sorry, it's not my business. No, but it's no secret. What? I like women, Rook. They like me. They like the scar. <laughs> Forget it. Listen. All this, all this death. Every night, half the caravan cries itself to sleep. Pathetic. 
come on, Lurk, be honest, this is good living. Half the world just tilling soil till they keel over. What kind of life is that? We're lucky. You could go your whole life with no goals, no purpose, nothing to fight against but boredom and hunger. I'm glad for all of this. Um, I'm not sure I agree. I would enjoy peaceful existence, I think. <laughs> yep. Look at it like this. We're fighting to the death almost every day, yeah? You can curl up in a little bowl of fear. You can go hide in the woods eating nuts and appreciating leaves or some nonsense. Or you can enjoy the struggle. Know which one I pick. Anyway, just so you know, I'd never go for your letter. Promise you that. Or, odd life, all yours. Hey, they can speak for themselves. Appreciate it, Mugen. You depart, unsure whether your opinion on Mugen changed for the better or worse. <laughs> yeah. Some clansmen have discovered a large patch of wild fruit. When you approach, you see some people have begun to sample them. A mother frets about whether they're safe after overhearing one of the children say that it tastes funny. Others start gathering by the basketful. Okay, let's taste it. Oh, wait a second. Do we want to test it on an animal? Is that... I mean, couldn't we just take a tiny, tiny bite? Um... I mean, a small bite? Is that gonna kill us? Um... Okay, let's... Someone already ate. Let's see how they're doing. After a short time, you note the slurred speech of a young man for taking all the fruit. Besides a little drunk, he seems perfectly fine. Oh. So, uh, it's ripe. Uh, too ripe, I guess. So, are we gonna let everyone get drunk in the camp? I mean, sure, we'll get our stomachs full as well. But, <laughs> not so sure. Yeah, I think they shouldn't. Many clansmen follow your lead while others continue eating and collecting. Later that day, a few fruit-stained peasants stumble around with drunken grins. Apparently, the fruit was fermented, not poisonous. I know, but it's still not. I wouldn't have drunk people on my team if the, someone would come and attack us or something. So, fine. <laughs> the caravan is buzzing with worry. In the distance, someone has spotted a large number of dark figures following you. The dredge cries one woman, but something about it tells you they don't quite look like dredge. Gods be damned, chokes Zulnef, standing in one of the carts to get a better view. Worse than dredge, that's Ekil. News spread throughout the clansmen like wildfire. Ekil? Why would he search a life? Unless he's after you, Onef. He's insane, interjects Onef. And unpredictable. That's a good number of fighters with him. Your mind races considering what to do. Uh, I think we will go, go, go say hello. Yeah, let's do that. You gather on F, your allies and fighters and head out into the wastes. Weapons drawn where the caravan won't be involved. Look, my good friend, he says as you approach. Throwing his axe on the ground, we come to parley, not fight. Of course. 
Why would I believe a word you say? Look, we were good friends. What happened? You tried to kill us. Just go back to Frostveller and leave us alone. Ah, look. It's your pretty girl. I'm glad nothing happened to her. With the dredge, I mean. My friends, how could I forget everything you've done for me? Broke into my city, took my warriors, took my food, and then killed some people so you could take more food. That was a nice touch. Took one of my best men. How are you, Arnef? Do they treat you well? Shove it up your ass, Ekil. If you came out here to kill me, let's get it over with. Nothing like that. You must think you know me. Or people like me. What did Olnev tell you? I'm crazy? I haven't survived because I'm crazy. I did what had to be done to make it in Frostvelli. The only mistake I made was you. What kind of man are you, Rook? You look like an average man to me. A man worried about his daughter, maybe, just making his way. But then, look behind you. How many people is that? They follow you, fight for you. Why? What kind of man are you? I'm doing my best like everyone else. We're all doing our best. Why are you their leader? Why do they all look up to you? Who do these people think you are? You saved them. You're a hero. Maybe that's more important than who you really are? What's your point, Ekil? I'm your prisoner, Rook. Bind my hands. Frostveller is done. I can't survive there. Thanks to you, my good friends. You may not have cut my throat, but you sentence us to death. I don't believe that's who you are. Is this some kind of apology? You can't trust me. I know that. Take me and my men as prisoners, if that's what it takes. Ekil looks down at the ground, and the words come slowly to him. I'm not above begging. Wow. Wow. I think... I don't want to take this... make this decision on my own. Onif, what do you think? I'd be a hypocrite if I told you to leave them. I don't know, Rook. You don't know me. How could you trust my word any more than his? I'm behind whatever decision you make. Actually, that tells me a lot about you. So... Alright. Uh, prisoners? Well... I'm not sure about this. Do we really have time to worry about prisoners? And if we do, for how long? I mean, we could need use their help in a fight, perhaps? Although, I don't want to give them weapons. But, there's no... Um, there's no way to pick prisoners for now, and then later... If we trust them. I'll take them as prisoners for now, I think. Listen, Ekil, we'll keep you alive, but look at one man, woman or child the wrong way and every last one of you gets cut down on the spot. Do you understand? I may be reckless, but I pay my debts. These people are right to follow you, Rook. You're a good man. You have each man's hands bound tightly and their bodies checked for weapons making sure no mistakes are made. Things are certainly starting to feel complicated. Yeah. And also, I think it's time to take a break. So, I'm gonna wrap up this episode here.
while everyone rests in the frozen wastes. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad here. <laughs> so, uh, until next time, take care and thanks for watching.